In this video, I will recreate this three-year-old render of me and I try to make it more realistic and make it look way better and I show you the techniques I use to make things more realistic. Also make sure to stick around until the end because I will announce a small little challenge. And yes, let's get straight to it. Okay, so first up, I pulled up the old render, like the image I rendered out back then, like three years ago, to just like get an overview, what we want to change, what I did wrong or what looks weird. So the first thing I noticed is that the ground is literally black like a void and it has no reflection on it at all. And even if it would be like black rock or black dirt, it would still have some kind of reflection, but like right here, or over here, like between everything is just black, like there's nothing there. So that's the first thing we're gonna change. Then another thing are these trees, like over here and back here, they're very quickly and bad model by me. <laughs> and if you look closer, you can notice that they are all the same. They always have these two on top. I just rotated them. And yes, so we are also gonna replace the tree. Then we're probably also gonna replace the bench and the lantern because the lantern looks weird. First of all, the material isn't good at all. Like it looks very not real. And also like this light bulb or whatever this is, is not realistic at all. And the bench doesn't have realistic materials at all. And it looks weird because it's very perfectly made and it has like straight corners perfectly straight corners and everything and the last things first of all the water like the approach was right with a little bump um texture like with noise bump texture but it's way too much it looks very like 3d like here and it just doesn't look like real water and also the grass i don't know what my intention was by just adding like one, two, three, like like a few grass patches there. I have no idea why I did that, so I will replace it with proper grass. And in the end, I will rework the mushroom a little bit, but because like this is, I can remember when I did it, it was like the thing I spent the most time on. I don't know why, but <laughs> I will try to keep this as original as possible. So yes, let's get straight to it. So the first technique I used to achieve more realism is to populate my scene. And I did that with adding grass. And like, if you look at nature, everything is so populated with plants and everything, especially in a forest or in nature. So that's really important that you don't just have a few grass patches like I did, because that is not real at all. So I added some grass, which was super easy with the G scatter add on. You can get it on the Grosswald website for free. And you can just select an emitter. And then you even have a small library of free assets, um, the one I use here. And then you can also easily optimize it just for the camera view and add a weight paint to make sure there's no grass on the path and in the water. And then you can also turn up the density until it fits the scene. So the next technique is to use high quality assets. There are so many free high quality assets, if it's a photo scan or whatever, but just look for them and it's worth it so much and it upgrades your render so much instead of making your own assets that don't look really good or not real because it's really difficult to make a realistic looking asset from scratch. So I replaced the tree models and for that I used the Blender Kit add-on which you can also get for free. And it has a huge asset library so I just searched for a tree trunk and there are different options I can choose from. So I imported like five different trees and then just placed them where the old trees were, maybe change the position if needed and yes. Then I use Blender Kit again to search for a bench model and I also find a really cool and realistic looking one. And I also use it for the lamp and also imported just with one click a really cool street lamp and placed it near the bench. 
So now I went into the next phase and that's the texturing. So I used Blender Kit again to look for a material, a cool looking ground material. And I found one and applied it to the ground and scaled it so that it fits right. Okay, so the next technique can be different from scene to scene or from person to person. But what I like to do, especially when I have third party assets, I like to change the color a little bit so it matches more. For example, in this scene, I want a darker look, a gray look, and I don't want saturated green grass and saturated brown trees. So I try to turn the saturation down on it. But this really depends on the scene. Sometimes you also want a really colorful scene. But that's just a cool way you can like make your assets fit the scene. So let's use a hue saturation node and put it into the color texture of the principal node. And then I could just turn the saturation down or maybe change the hue and or direct it even further. So then I also changed the water. I deleted like the whole wave modifier because I don't need that for just a small pond and apply the noise texture and also made a water material with the transmission and turned the roughness down and also turned the alpha a little bit down so you can see the ground beneath it just a little bit. And then I also replaced the sky texture because this was like a 360 degrees image and I wanted a normal image of the Milky Way. So I also replaced that. So the next step was to add some displacement in again, because I saw like on the close up ground, you could really see that it's just a 2D plane and there were no details at all. And details are very important if you want to make it realistic. And with displacement maps, you can easily add many small details but it also takes some resources from your pc so don't do it too much and only where you can see it and when i had that right i also added in a spotlight into my street lamp so yeah the lamp actually emits light and i also added in a small little sphere with an emission texture so it looks like there is a light bulb in it and with that we also come to our last technique and that's the, like the whole lighting setup don't be afraid to play around with the lighting try different things for example in this one i tried out like a really high contrast lighting like you can barely see the background it's just very black and you can only see the mushrooms in the distance just make sure to watch additional tutorials on lighting because it has so much to the render if there's not just like a flat lighting over everything and if you use like these lighting techniques properly. So now it already looked like something but I still had to fine tune some details. I added some grass in the background and also changed some settings in the camera. For example, I added a depth of field so only the bench and the lamp are in focus and then I also changed some settings on the grass, played around with the scales of the mushrooms and the grass and also changed the placements of the mushrooms, just some small things until it looked right. And yes, so here we go. Here is the before and here is the after. And it's of course still not perfect. I spent around one and a half hours. So you could like spend another five hours to perfect it and add some more assets and whatever. But still, like I hope I could share the process, how I take something and make it more realistic and what I add and show you some techniques. And I hope you could learn something. Okay, so we are already at the end of this video, but before you click away, let me tell you about this challenge I teased in the beginning. So I would love to see your progress over the last year, the last two years, the last two months. So if you have improved your skills, make sure to take an old artwork of yours and recreate it like I did. Maybe you can use some tips and tricks I just told you and make sure to tag me on Instagram and I will try to repost as many of you as possible into my story so everyone can see the progress you did. So yes, also make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you don't and also make sure to comment and what you think about this tutorial or if you have some additional tips. 
Also make sure to check out my Gumroad. I have different assets there and I will also upload this project file for free. And also make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to learn even more. There are more exclusive tutorials there and I will upload much more in the future. So yes, check that out too. And that's already it. Thank you so much for sticking around until this point and I wish you all a great week. Goodbye.